Hey y'all. So welcome to my channel, Tell Samira. Today's lesson is you talk too much. I have been guilty of this myself and if you're honest with yourself, you probably been guilty too. And other poor individuals have had to suffer through our endless need to just go on and on about ourselves, just not hearing them and just going blah, 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 and just getting on people's nerves. And like I said, I've been guilty. So, you know, take some notes and get your coffee because this might apply to you and it might help save you some relationships, uh, you know. So thank me later. So anyhow talking too much when you're with people you know have you ever been around someone and you had some good news and you want to tell them and you're just so excited and you just call somebody because you just can't contain it you know and you get on the phone and you're about to tell the person oh look this happened to me and look and blah 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 only to have the disappointment where the person has already turned the story around to themselves and start telling you how a similar situation happened to them too Oh, they totally understand. And you who have the good news are like on the phone like, for real? You know, I was really looking forward to tell my story. I can't even tell it. And then if you try to get back and jump in a conversation to tell your good story, the other inconsiderate person, I've been guilty of it too, the inconsiderate person just keeps cutting you off because they can't be satisfied until they tell you this. So the thing is, you get off the phone feeling that, okay, Something just went wrong. I had good information to share, couldn't even share. Now you might feel like I still need to share with somebody. So you call somebody else because you didn't get the gratification you were expecting from your friend because that person, guess what, talks too much. You know, like I said, I, I used to do this myself. A person would call me and it didn't even just have to be good news. It could be bad news, you know. Oh, um, they were laid off or, oh, the engine blew out the car. And as soon as they would start talking, and I wouldn't do this on purpose, but I just noticed it years later after hearing people say that's, you know, bad communication to keep interrupting people. I was so guilty of that. She would tell me, oh, yeah, this happened in my job. And I'm like, oh, I know exactly what you mean. Because in 1999, that happened to me at my first job and boop, the boop, the boop, the boop, and this and this. And then she was like, Oh, you know, oh, my lipstick broke. Oh, my goodness. In 2005, girl, my MAC lipstick broke on me. I know what you're talking about. And whoop, 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 you know. And she was a very nice person. Because looking back on it, you know, she would have been within her right to say, look, I'm not finished telling my story. and You keep interrupting me. That would have been okay. But she suffered through that for years until I finally stopped doing it. So if you're doing that, Stop. Breathe. If you're guilty of this, breathe. Allow people to tell you their stories. Wait until there's a pause in the conversation. Then you can share a story. But you don't even have to share a story. Sometimes someone's calling you a friend or acquaintance. They just want to be heard. So you can just listen without having to offer your two cents into, into the matter. Just listen. Because really, when I think about it, if you're that person that's always looking to jump in and tell your story and try to say how you can relate, you're not really listening to the other person. You're just listening to wait to, when you can jump in the conversation and, and have yourself heard. So just like over talker, how you want to be heard. Allow yourself to be heard from other people because you're hindering your relationships. And some people aren't going to tell you that they don't talk to you as much or that they stop calling you because you're so self-involved that you're talking over them constantly. So practice that if you're a person who does that. And I don't want to hear about, oh, I was raised like that. I've been doing that since 1966. I can't stop. If I, who was a habitual over-talker, could change that. You can do the same thing. Also, um, some things that, that we do to talk too much is oversharing with people. You know, uh, this one lady was telling me that uh, she doesn't have many friends and, you know, something always goes wrong with the friends. She spends a lot of time alone, you know, and she really wants to uh, get her friends uh, together. You know, and this was a while ago. And she really wants to get more friends. And 
as I was listening to her on the phone, I could truly see why she, why she does not have a lot of friends. And of course, I didn't tell her this. It's because uh, she kept telling me about how everyone does her wrong and she's always giving and people are always taking advantage of her. And, and, and not only did she say that, but she went into details, several details about each person misusing her. And then she couldn't figure out why people keep misusing her. But it was easy for me to see it. They misuse her because she taught them how to misuse her. You have to understand that everybody does not have a does not um operate with the same morals or integrity that you do, you know? It you, they just don't. And just to expect them to operate like you operate is re really unreasonable because it's not going to happen. So you might tell all your woes and your sorrows to one person and that person could maybe feel sorry for you. You might tell it to some a manipulator and that manipulator or narcissist is like, oh, so this is what I need to do to push your buttons. Oh, this is what I need to say to uh, get what money out of you or to get you to do what I want. Oh, okay. Or, oh, as soon as you make me mad. I'm going to throw up that time you did this and you did that and I'm going to use that against you. Some people do it like that. So you got to learn. If you're an over talker, you have to learn to stop the oversharing. Be let relationships form over time, you know? Just because you talk to somebody one, five, ten times does not make them your friend. Don't give them so much of yourself, you know? But, um... You know what? And I actually do think I told that person who was telling me eventually I did say to the person, you know, you might want to be careful of sharing all how people have misused you in the past because not everybody has good intentions and people will try to take advantage, you know, if you if you let them. So by when I mean by let them is by letting them so much into your life about what's what's happening to you, you know, then you get some people who want to tell you about all their uh, childhood trauma or everything that just went wrong with them and just sharing to everybody. And when you're just telling everything to everybody, you're not focused on that other individual. So, you know, people want to, in relationships, they want to feel like they're heard. They, they want to feel special. So the thing is, if you're an over-talker, it's practice on asking other people questions, asking them about how their day went and really listening and without trying to jump in and take over the conversation and say how your day went. Hold back. And, when, and I, the reason I say practice is because you, you have to work on this because it's a bad habit that you had. And people probably don't tell you this, you know, but you know, if you're guilty of it, you know, so yeah, hold back, ask that other person about, uh, you know, what sort of things do they like to do for fun, you know, and, ju and just listen. And once you start doing that, you will start seeing that there'll be changes in your, re your relationship. You know, because a lot of us, we think that people want to hear every little detail in our life, you know, uh, but really they don't, you know, because we all have so much going on and all of us just want to be, want to be heard. So if you're an over talker, you know, this message is for you. Like I said, I was once guilty. I'm not coming down on you, but if there's change needed, hey, we got to start somewhere. So, hey, learn to shut up. Shh.